Welcome to Wayne's World Garage. We're at the sawmill again today. Nice day outside, six degrees and cloudy. But we got some projects. Let me show you what we got going on. So we've got this big pine here, and we need to make some one by sixes and two by sixes. So I think we need to trim that guy up first. Then we've got another pine right over here. We'll make one by sixes out of that one. So the biggest priority is right now is for the hay wagon project, and they need a bunch more one by sixes. So we get one by sixes out of these guys. I think that one might be eight foot long. So we'll get three of them going. Let's get cracking here. Okay, so in the red hat is Gary. Actually, we got two red hats. The guy walking up to the be the Sawyer is Gary. And then we've got Alan helping roll the logs and Matt somewhere there. I'm not sure what Matt's doing right now, but it's nice, easy log to roll. It's pine. And these are big pines for us, actually. Most of the pines we have around here are garbage, frankly. Uh, they're scrub pines. Why do we have so many pines? Well, after the fields lay dormant for a long time, what are the first trees to come up? They're scrub pines. But these pines are not scrubs. These are pretty nice pines. And it turns out they make nice boards. Nice 2x4s, nice 2x6s. Go to the box stores, and what do you buy? They're all pine trees. So what I didn't show on video and you don't see here is one of the new guys, Tom, he's an international harvester tractor guy, is a really, really good mechanic. And he's a good sport and he's agreed to help keep our saw blades sharp. Almost as good as freaking Jeep does actually. So what we do before we start anything, we get here a little bit early. Alan helps does a little bunch of the cleanup and keep the dust all clean. We try and get things organized. And Tom, smartly, very carefully, goes over the saw and checks out the blade to make sure it's sharp. And frankly, just cutting this pine, it's not getting dull. It's pretty sharp. It's not like oak. It's not like locust. It cuts nicely. And the saw is working extraordinarily well. So you may recall, these are new bits. We put new bits in maybe a month ago. Shockingly, we have not hit any metal yet. I don't know why. We'll probably hit some today. I shouldn't say anything. All right, well, this probably looks worse than it is. What the heck is he doing here? Well, what he's doing is he's measuring the size of the first board and he's checking the settings on the set works to make sure that we're going to be cutting one inch boards, about one inch boards. Probably cut them a little bit bigger than that anyway, but we'll see. So he's reaching over, which theoretically we're not supposed to do, but how are you going to adjust this thing? So that's what he's doing anyway. Well, clearly the board is a little bit too big. So he wants to push the whole log back just a little bit. Unfortunately, as you can see, what happens is the log rolls a little bit. So if he used to saw this board, it's not going to be a very useful board. So Gary, being smarter than the average bear, decides just back this thing up a little bit. And we'll put this side, the flat side, to the back or to the bottom. And then we'll saw it from there. It's almost ready to do that anyway. So it's a little bit early, but not a big deal. So what are we doing here? Well, Alan and Matt are enjoying using the log roller, I believe. So Alan is operating it, moving it up and down, and you'll see Matt repositioning the hook on it. 
And I think the best way to do this, and it seems to be working pretty well, is don't try and grab the entire log and roll it 270 degrees at once. Grab it a quarter of a turn at a time, roll it, roll it, and put it back. And the hook, we find that you got a good spot for that. Put the hook back out of the way so it doesn't poke you in the eye. And then put the controller up. I'm still not entirely sure I like where the controller is, but Alan's a few inches taller than everybody else, so it seems to work out pretty well. Now, though, Gary's got the flat spot in the bottom, and we can continue squaring up this log and getting a nice cant out of it. Okay, so now's the fun part. Gary's going to be cutting his first nice cant out of this. I believe we can get two or three cants out of it. At least get two cants out of it. And then we can stack them on top of them so we can cut a lot of two-by-sixes or whatever he's cutting very quickly. So you'll see. And check out how well this saw is working. Thanks so much, John, frickin' Jeep, for helping us learn how to sharpen this thing and keep it sharp. And thanks to the guys from Payne for giving us some advice on using that and keeping the right bits in here.
All right, well, this is kind of the fun part now. Gary's got two nice cants done. He's cut up the smaller pieces here, but we can stack these cants on here. We might be able to stack three if we had three, but we only got two out of it. It's not that big of a log, but we'll stack both these cants on here. And it's pine, not as heavy as oak, that's for sure. It's a whole lot lighter, a lot easier for us to move around a little bit. And you'll see... We've got one side, which is like a live edge. It's got bark on it. We need to spin this thing around. There you go. And put the flat side against the knees. Do the same thing for the next piece of wood here. And then we can just move it on there. And then Gary will be making two by fours quick as can be. Okay, well, I know we're sawing pine, but it takes three and a half seconds, about, actually a little bit less than that, to make one two by six. That's pretty quick. So if you think about it, once you get the log squared up and get a nice cant, we've got two cants, you can stack them on top of each other. This is pine, it saws well. Frankly, if we had a bigger log, we could have easily stacked three of these on top of each other. Although two's about it, we don't want to get it too unstable towards the end of the cants when they're double stacked or triple stacked we don't want them collapsing and falling down that could cause a little bit of drama but gary's doing a great job and look at how fast this saw is cutting thanks tom for sharpening it and what you don't see is the guys doing the offloading we got tom we got pete we got bruce and we got george offloading these guys stacking them and sticking them that's half the work too you're just watching the fun part Well, that's about it for Gary's pine log, and that's all we're going to be sawing for today on this log anyway. Take care.
Thanks so much for watching. We well, hope you enjoyed the show. Please leave a comment, leave a suggestion. We try and answer almost every one we get.